Good morning students. Welcome to the channel Vidaripa's Fundamental Biology. This video welcomes you to the study of genetics. Students, you know human recognized long ago that offspring <coughs> tend to resemble their parents. You have heard the concept of like begets like. That means offspring resemble either or both of their parents. Human have also performed breeding experiments with animals and plants for centuries. However, the principles of heredity were not understood until mid 19th century when Gregor John Mandel performed breeding experiments using pea plants and that led to the foundation of a branch of biology known as genetics. So what is genetics basically? It is the study of heredity and variation. So what is genetics? It is the study of heredity and variation. In another way we can say genetics is a branch of biology which deals with the study of heredity and variation. And now what is heredity? It is the transmission of characters which are genetically controlled from one generation of organism to the next generation. So what is heredity? It is the transfer of genetically controlled characters from one generation to the next generation. And how these characters are being transferred from one generation to another generation, that very process is known as inheritance. Okay. So inheritance is the process of transfer of characters from one generation to the next generation. Now you will see the offspring also differ to some extent with their parents and also among the siblings. And that is known as variation. So what is variation actually? Variation is the offspring differ from their parents and sibling apparently. And that is termed as variation. Now what is genome? It is very important to understand. What is genome? It is the total number of genes inherited by an individual from its parents. How many genes you have inherited from your parents that becomes to your genome and how to calculate this how to know okay so let us take an example of human being human beings have 46 chromosome in a cell and you know these 46 chromosomes are present in pairs so how many pairs are there of chromosomes 23 pairs okay so you have two sets of chromosome 23 and 23 okay 23 pair means 46 so there are two sets of chromosome 23 and 23 23 chromosomes 23 chromosomes are called a set which is a haploid set and regarded by or denoted by small n okay and that is equal to your genome okay that is the number of genes present in 23 chromosomes okay of a human being is equal to the genome that is the total number of genes all right why we are taking 23 chromosomes only as we have 46 chromosome in a cell because the 23 chromosomes resemble the other 23 chromosomes that means each pair in each pair the chromosomes are similar to each other and same genes are present therefore we will count the number of genes in only 23 chromosomes and that will give you the genome that is total number of gene all right now <clears throat> what is gene actually gene as a unit factor responsible for a character Genes are the factors or <coughs> units which control the characters and the genes are the units which are transferred from one generation to another generation unaltered. Alright, we also know chemically the genes are <coughs> specific sequence of nucleotides present in DNA in a chromosome. All right. Now, what is locus? This is a singular term, locus, and plural is loci. Okay. So, what is a locus? It is the specific location of a gene along the length of a chromosome. 
what is locus it is a specific location of a gene we can understand this by a drawing here okay let us draw a chromosome and locate a gene suppose there is a chromosome okay and we have a gene over here called gene a another gene over here which is called gene b another gene here is called gene c all right so these are the different positions of genes in this chromosome and this particular location of gene a b c these are the different loci of these genes this is the locus for gene a this one is the locus for gene b and this one is the locus for gene c all right so what is locus actually it is the specific location of a gene along the length of a chromosome all right <clears throat> i think this is uh, the beginning video of genetics and i think whatever taught here you have understood okay if you are getting any problem if you have any question please write to me in comment section okay thank you